Hey fellow backyard boyers, Nick here. I've been getting a lot of requests to make a karambit. So today I'm going to be turning an old lawnmower blade like this into one of these. I've decided to go with a grass theme with this knife because one of the original uses for the karambit is actually a harvesting tool. And the blade is made out of a lawnmower blade because it makes use of the center hole. So I've also made the handle scales out of laminated bamboo and bamboo is technically a grass so here it is I was looking through some of my things and I just found this karambit that I started making about eight years ago now just like this one it makes use of a lawnmower blade with a one inch center hole that way you don't have to do any additional work to make the safety hole the lawnmower blade I'm using is two and a half inches wide, about an eighth of an inch thick, and it has a one inch diameter center hole. Now this is important because if you can find one with a one inch or similar diameter center hole, you don't have to do any drilling or grinding to make the safety hole for this knife. Now that I have my blade, I'm taking my angle grinder and just sanding off all of the rust and caked on grass so that I have nice clean steel to draw my design. I've gone ahead and drawn out the design of my knife. Now my design does go into some of the curved portions of the blade, but that's okay because I'll be flattening it out later. The knife is nine inches overall with a four and a half inch blade and a four and a half inch handle. Using the angle grinder, I'm gonna start with the cutoff wheel and cut off as much of the outside as I possibly can. Once I've got it as close as I can with the cutoff wheel, I switch to the grinding wheel and grind away the excess. Now I'm leaving my outline just a little larger than my finished knife because we're going to be flattening it out in the next step. Now I'm going to flatten and straighten out the knife blank. I start by heating the knife with my propane torch until it starts turning orange. Then I take it to my anvil and gently pound it out. I'm just going really lightly and flattening it out. And I repeat this several times until I'm satisfied with how flat the blade is. Once the knife is completely cooled, I take it to the angle grinder and grind both surfaces flat. I'm removing all dents, dings, rust, or scratches. I'm also leaving a nice, even, and flat surface to work with. Once that's done, I use the angle grinder to clean up my profile and get the knife to the final design. With the grinding wheel, I rough in the bevels. I'm trying to get a nice, clean plunge line and even bevels on both sides of the blade to where they meet in the middle but aren't quite sharp yet. Once I'm happy with the way everything looks, I switch to the sanding discs and get them to a nice, even finish. To heat treat the blade, I start by heating it with my propane torch until the point where a magnet will no longer stick to it. Once it gets to that point, I heat it up just a little bit beyond that and then quench it in oil. Once the blade comes out of the quench tank, it's hard and brittle, so I clean off the steel so I can see the colors and then place it in my oven at 400 degrees for about an hour or until I get a nice straw color. Once the knife is cool, I use my torch and heat up the handle or tang of the knife. I'm softening it so that it's a little tougher and so I can drill my pinholes. Once it's cooled down, I drill my two pinholes and several other holes that will help lighten up the handle and give extra places for the epoxy to grip when we glue the handle on. Once the holes are all drilled, I trace the outline of my knife handle onto a piece of laminated bamboo flooring which will become my knife handle slabs. Once I cut those out, I clamp a scale one at a time to the handle of the knife and drill my pinholes. That way everything will be aligned. 
Then with the angle grinder, I make sure that the front and back of the handle are nice and aligned and everything's finished before I start gluing. Now that the front and back of the handle scales are cleaned up, I mix up some two-part epoxy to glue the handle scales onto the knife. I apply glue to both sides of the handle scales and into the tang, making sure to fill up the tang holes. And then I press everything together, push the pins in, then I clamp it and let it cure fully. Now that the epoxy is cured, I take the knife back to the angle grinder with the roughest sanding disc and bring the handle down to shape. Once I'm happy with the overall shape of the handle, I use progressively finer sanding discs until the handle is nice and smooth and all the big scratches are gone. Then I hand sand and finish it off with multiple grits of sandpaper and then finish the surface off with a few coats of boiled linseed oil. Now the knife is finished. Here's the karambit, all finished up. I hope you had fun making this knife with me today. If you have any suggestions for other knife videos or other videos in general, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to see other projects, including knife making videos and archery related videos, you can check them out on my channel. And I've also written several books on different topics, and you can check those out in the links in the description below. So here it is. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.